We're back here on Extra Rounds as we get ready for a busy weekend in mixed martial arts because every week is fight week here on UFC Fight Pass. And one person who's going to be uh, active is joining me now. She's the Archangel. You know her as the already flyweight champion of CFFC. She goes for strawweight gold uh, coming up this weekend. It is Fatima Klein. Fatima, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. You know, you've had a quite a career, just five and zero oh as a pro. I know it's been difficult to find fights for you. You've been incredibly active uh, on the grappling scene. Uh, obviously, you want to, you know, progress your career to the, the brightest lights, the biggest stages. But how how difficult has it been for you just to get fights inside, uh, you know, the cage? Yeah, you know, it's definitely been a struggle. Um, I was first signed with Invicta. Invicta was able to give me the tough fights I needed. And then I winded up signing with CFFC and they offered me a title fight right away. But sometimes it would take months, you know, uh, between my Invicta fights, I wouldn't fight sometimes like six to nine months. Um, that's why you see me on the grappling mats, you know, trying to keep myself busy and active and just, you know, fight whoever that they would put in front of me. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited that, you know, we were able to hit an opponent for this one. Um, I went through like four or five different girls before, before uh, Andresa Romero accepted. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely appreciate all the girls that have accepted and, and are willing to take the challenge on, you know. I would do the same thing if I was them. <laughs> I, I remember when you came into Invicta and, and the hype was was high on you. And, you know, for an athlete who doesn't have a, a ton of fights, that hype speaks volumes, you know. And, and I think that uh, I don't want to necessarily say that people were scared of you, per se. That's not my place. But uh, there there was a lot of apprehension. And then you go out and you do these grappling events for team. And I think you almost do yourself a disservice because you shine at <laughs> that stage as well. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I definitely had my coaches say that a couple times. They were like, man, we got to start like posting videos of you looking bad <laughs> just to give these people, you know, an, a, a different uh, different ultimatum to take the fight. But hey, listen, it's a title fight. You know, um, there's there's a lot that goes into that, you know, and it, anybody has a chance. Everybody has a chance. Um, and so, yeah, you know, you just got to put it on the line in order to get the, you know the record you want and the fights and that you want and i want to fight the toughest people out there and so I, i'm glad they not only that they found me a fight but they found me a tough opponent as well yeah so far so good for yourself i mentioned you already have the uh flyweight championship over at cffc you try to look to uh, add straw weight gold uh coming up this weekend um you know what is that like you know being so young in your career and already fighting and and trying to double champ you know status uh b before you're you know even 10 fights into this do, do you feel the pressure with the title fights yeah i totally feel the pressure um i love the pressure though i think i really thrive under pressure um i enjoy the bright lights i, I enjoy how brighter they are getting uh, i know i'm getting somewhere in my journey and i'm, I'm getting to where i want to be um and just to again make a statement and be a double champion i couldn't ask for more you know i i, I love a challenge i love setting high expectations for myself and i love achieving them yeah, I mean, the opportunity not only for a title, but to, to find yourself in uh, a, a main event, you know, on a CFFC card, that's a pretty big deal. You, you, you like being the A side? Do you like being, you know, sort of the, the focal point of an entire event? Um, yeah, I totally don't mind it. Uh, I, I don't think I look too highly into it. I, I feel like I keep it as realistic as possible, and it, it's just another fight, whether, you know, I, I'm the brightest out, athlete out there or nobody knows me. You know, I, I take it all the same. Um, I, I try to stay humble through it all. And at the end of the day, it's it's a four or five round fight and there's a title on the line and uh, may the best woman win. Yeah. So tell me about uh, your opponent. You obviously you've gone through uh, a few different women. How long have you had to prepare for Romero? Um, I was given five weeks. OK. Um, do you do you like to do tape study? Or are you someone who, you know, invests in, in watching tape? Yeah, I, I totally like to look look through my opponent's uh, past fights and definitely like chop down clips that I think are important. Um, I definitely think Gundressa is a tough Brazilian. She's going to come out and she's definitely going to try to try to finish me and, and me the same way to her. And, you know, five weeks, it was a little little short notice. But, hey, listen, you got to do what you got to do to get get in there. And just I just want another another number underneath my name and another opponent on my list. And so, yeah, I, I couldn't, I definitely couldn't complain. I, I'm excited. I mean, another belt to, to put on the mantle at home might not hurt. 
as well. Yeah. <laughs> Two is always better than one. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we talk about you, you know, just five fights into your pro career, um, you know, big stakes you've already fought and earned them uh, thus far. If you get a win, you know, coming up this weekend, do, do you feel like the, the UFC call or contender series call is, is right around the corner? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely feel, um, as if if I win this fight and I, I make another finish and I'm four finishes uh, deep in my career, that I'm almost undeniable. Um, I don't think there's another woman out there that wants it more than me. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to skip contender series. I want to get right in there. I, I, I'll take a fight on short short notice. Um, I want to be where, where I, I belong, and I, I belong in the UFC. No, we've seen you, you know, bounce through a couple of weight classes. I already mentioned, you know, the the championship at 125, now going for 115. I mean, where do you see yourself fitting in the UFC? Could, could you do multiple weight classes uh, in the octagon? Yeah, I definitely feel myself uh, at best at 115. Um, the only reason I went to 125 pound my last fight was my opponent wasn't able to make the weight. There was a change of opponents. Um so I definitely wouldn't mind fighting at 125 if, if I if need be. Um, but I'm definitely a, a natural 115er. I believe I'm 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 strongest there, and that's that's where I, I naturally believe I am. And how do you see yourself stacking up against the talent inside the UFC? Obviously, I don't want to look past your opponent coming up uh, this weekend at CFFC. But do, do you feel like you are you know a finisher in the UFC if you get that opportunity? Absolutely. I think I can climb the rankings fairly quickly. I, I think I could beat anybody in 115 right now if if they called me for a fight. Um, I, I, I think I have a gift from God, and I think he's going to be able to pull me through that. And, hey, if whatever happens, happens. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to making a statement and making sure people know that I'm one of the best in the world. You know, whether it be grappling or mixed martial arts, it seems like you're someone who tries to stay a as busy as possible. I mean, what what is the ideal number of, of fights for yourself in, in MMA in a single year? I like having at least three. I think four is pushing it <laughs> just a hair. I've done back-to-back -back fights before where I fought in January, um, and then I fought in March again. Um, definitely not the funnest of times, but I, I've been able to learn a lot and at least get numbers uh, under my name. Um, but I, ideally four, that way I can chill and <laughs> have some relaxing time and eating time. You know, submission grappling has been, uh, you know, on the come up lately. And at Fight Pass, we have this Fight Pass Invitational uh, where it elevates Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to, you know, a similar stage. It feels like fight night, like a, a UFC. It's in the apex. Would you ever see yourself trying to compete on that platform? Uh, totally. I've definitely thought about it before. Uh, absolutely. I, I love staying active. And if I can't get three MMA fights in the, in a year, I, I'd love to keep busy still doing jujitsu and being able to take some wins. You know, what's your favorite part about MMA? I mean, obviously, you know, we've seen you in, in jujitsu and we've seen you in MMA, but is, is there something, are you drawn to the stand up part of, of MMA? Do you like that more than just traditional jujitsu? Uh, oh, yeah, I totally love standing up. After I started jujitsu, I went right into boxing and I had a couple boxing matches and I definitely fell in love with the art. I mean, it's completely different from jujitsu. And the, the biggest reason I love MMA is there's so many different parts to it and people bring so many different parts of the game. You have, you know, like uh, people like Stephen Thompson that is like Taekwondo, karate artist. Right. Um, you have people some, from so many different backgrounds and there's so many different arts you can learn that. I, I love that it's a never-ending learning process, and you can only get better. You can only keep learning. So, One thing I like about your game, and I, I saw this firsthand uh, in MMA, but also uh, in combat jiu-jitsu, is you're kind of vicious on the ground, Fatima. You, <laughs> you like to hit people hard. Yeah, yeah, totally. I definitely feel like um, when it hits the ground, man, it, it's totally my world. I mean, even as soon as, as soon as somebody steps in the cage with me, you're, you're coming into my cage. What uh, what can we expect from you coming up uh, here at CFFC? Anything you want to like? You want to make a prediction? Anything we should look for? Uh, I'm expecting a knockout. I, I think I deserve my first true KO. I have two KOs under my under my uh, resume, but I think this will this will be my first clean KO. And if not, then definitely a finish. Definitely a double champ. Well, we will be looking forward to it, Fatima. Best of luck in, uh, you know, cementing yourself as a double champion here at CFFC. And, uh, you know, uh, good luck to you and your endeavors here in 2024. Thank you.